Hey guys, I'm Arasa Tech Time Machine. Today, I'll be showing you how to install your stock ROM on your Lenovo A369i. <clears throat> this video is not requested by your, by all of you, but I found out that some of you don't like custom ROMs and rather flashback stock ROM. And I will show you in this video. Let's go ahead and get started and see what materials should we have to use well now I'll be showing you how to flashback the stock ROM as usual <coughs> as you got your first phone well obviously you have to have a root phone which I have here which this phone has been rooted if you don't know how to root go ahead and check my channel uh, for name how to root your Lenovo H6 and I and flash your custom recovery which I have a video uh, you can go ahead and check it out if you want it maybe I'll put a link down in the description in case I forgot yes I remember of course you need to have the custom recovery rooted phone Rooted Lenovo six nine i, and you have to download the stock ROM file, which I will uh, upload to my Google Drive uh, a little bit later. Well, let's go ahead and get started. First of all, turn off the phone or use Quick Boot if you have. Uh, if you have Quick Boot, you can use the Quick Boot app to boot into recovery since I don't have how to do it traditional way uh, push go how to go to recovery actually you have to go press volume up volume down and power button at the same time so we just show you uh, okay. I'll just press until it says your custom actually shows your custom recovery Oh damn. Wait a minute. <coughs> it's hard to use when you have a case. And as you can see here, my battery slot thing has come off. So if you have the same idea and you have fixed it, you have the same, uh, <coughs> same issue and you fix it, definitely tell me in the comment section down below uh, obviously volume let me just redo this thing okay press as hard as you can to go to recovery okay team win recovery I use install twerp uh, just because it was a touch it, it support touch so how to install this actually you got you have to go wipe, advanced wipe, and check a Dalvik cache and cache, and then swipe to wipe. And I go back, and swipe to factory reset. And then go, after done that, go home, and go install, choose the wrong file. Let's say, uh, I'm going to install one thing first. Uh, I'm just choose one thing as... <coughs> I think I don't have here. Nope, I don't have. But uh, you you go to install, you click the zip file, and start to install. Let's say I want to install camera patch, and start to confirm flash. After that, you have to wait for five, two, one to two minutes, and then go to click reboot system now and then you have to wait five minutes because the device actually warming up because it it is the first time you install the system or ROM into your into your phone so you have to wait for 
five minutes to wait for the phone to recognize this is uh, and configuring the last file that it hasn't actually um, do. So that's all for me from this video. Um, be sure to like and subscribe my video. <sighs> like and subscribe my channel. Uh, like this video and subscribe to that channel. Sorry. And definitely leave a comment down below for uh, suggesting. Not suggesting, but. <clears throat> Uh, for ask me questions at the Ask Time Machine next Ask Time Machine episode. At this moment, I just had two questions, so please answer me more questions, please, please. Okay. Uh, that's all for me for this video, and I I will be doing next video, which is how to install Exposed Framework. And install the modules. That's all for this video. Uh, as always, see you next time.